Hey everybody, this is Maxwell with Started Outdoors, and today we're going to be plastic dipping the hood of my 2017 Crosstrek. So recently I've been all plastic dip crazy and looking at different designs and things on cars that you can do. And uh, I saw a picture of a, of a Crosstrek that had a pretty interesting design in their car or rather they had the hood completely blacked out and I thought it was pretty awesome looking. So I thought, why not try to do it myself? So for the past, I don't know, a week or so, I've been watching different plastic dip videos and how to do it, what the best techniques are to do it. And so now I'm here, I'm ready to do it. I already got it all taped off and protected on the sides here. So this is gonna be more of just kind of a watch video more than an instructional video. I will be giving out pointers based on what I've learned in the previous, uh, I guess, the previous couple of days. And uh, so now we're just gonna hope and see that it turns out the right way. This is my first time doing it on such a large scale. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Um, this is a Venetian red color, so I think the combination of the red and black is going to look pretty cool. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos regarding the Plaza Dip, or if you've seen any of my posts on Facebook or uh, any of the other social media areas that actually show the, the parts that I've already completed, I think it looked pretty good. So I think that this uh, addition to it is going to also look pretty nice. All right, let's get started. All right, so before you get started, make sure that your surface area is completely clean. Um, I used some water and then I used some isopropyl alcohol to finish it up. Um, I didn't want to use any kind of chemical based cleaner just because I didn't want to leave any kind of residues on there. And you afterwards let it dry. You want to let it sit completely dry. That way the uh, plastic dip completely takes hold of your surface. In order to give you a consistent coat, um, you want to lay it on wet. That's the first thing I found. Second thing also is the consistency. It does matter how it comes out of the bottle. So what you should do is heat up the uh, the can, uh, the aerosol can itself, and uh, that way it comes on smoother. And so I've got the uh, plastic dip right now in a bucket of water heating up. Uh, about 10 minutes or so is what it was recommended. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out right now, and we'll go ahead and get started. Let's begin. Not well, pretty good so far. There's the first layer, and as you can see, it's still, there's a couple little areas where it kind of built up, those little bubbles, things right there. And from what I was uh, told, what I saw online, is that uh, those just happen because of the metal, that as you continue putting on the next coats, they will all uh, flatten out, and it'll be much more even. So we're gonna go ahead and let it dry out for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put this back inside the uh, warming pit. And we'll come back in about 10 minutes and put on the next coat. All right, we're coming on to the second coat now. And it's already looking pretty good. This was just dried up. Uh, one thing to notice, when you put on your coats, make sure you do a 50-50 spray, meaning that when you spray one line, the next one should be about 50% on the previous line and then 50% off. So you get constant coverage over each other. Um, I think that's about it for now. Let's go ahead and get started. you back on number three. Okay, so now I'm on to coat number three. Um, although I guess I do have some of the beginner inexperience mistakes here. Looks like I got a little bit of buildup here in the middle, and it's kind of caking a little bit down here on the bottom. Looks like I ran a little bit. I might have sprayed too close here. But like I said, the, the, the cool thing about this is if, it's, if it doesn't work out, you can always take it off and do it again. Um, 
but I'm gonna try leaving it on even if it is a little bit caked on just to see how it looks afterwards. Uh, so we're gonna try it now. After the fourth coat is probably when I'll take uh, the tape is the tape and everything off. Um, the technique there is to take off the tape and everything right after you finish spraying. So while it's wet, you start taking things off. The reason for that is when it starts drying, you don't want the Plasti Dip to dry over the tape. Because if that happens, when you pull the tape off, it'll actually pull the coating off as well and start like making all kinds of nasty little pieces everywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on anyways with, uh, with uh, coat number three. And hopefully we can fix those little mistakes like the caking up there with another another coat. That's a, that's my hope at last. So at least we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Swing around the other side and continue. The video cut out mid-spray, but that's okay. So let's move on. So we're now we're on to uh, coat number four, and I think I will do a full coat for number four and then move on to a fifth, just because it did manage to cover up a lot of that bubbling that I had over there, and uh, it cleared it up quite a bit. So I'm hoping with, this, with these last two coats, it might completely make it fade away and uh, make it even on all sides there. Um, I have a little bit still in here, kicking on the ends here, so I'm going to try hitting this area as well and hope that everything turns out for the best. So let's go ahead and get started with coat number four. All right, well, I just finished up the coat and it looks much better. That center bubble that we used to have over there is all but gone. So that is pretty awesome. The edges here are almost completely gone too. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm thinking that this might just be a success. One more coat, I think we'll be done. And uh, we'll start checking the tape off. All right, everybody, we're gonna start with our uh, fifth coat. And this is the one where when you spray it, you have to start taking the tape off immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this side first, um, get it wet, get it going, and then immediately after that, take off this piece of tape, and then continue on with the rest of it. Once I get to that side over there, then I'll take off that side. So wish me luck. Hopefully this works out. If not, then it's going to screw it all up, but <laughs> a learning experience nonetheless. It ended up looking up, looking pretty good. So. Four layers, looks great. Um, that bubbling effect that we had there is, like I said, all but gone. Down in here, we still have a little bit towards the edge, but nothing too much that's gonna look too horrible or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully take that away with this last coat, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So far, it's coming out pretty nice. Alright, man, it looks freaking awesome. Alright, let's continue on with this. Coming off well so far. Alright, yes! Oh man, that looks sharp. Okay, we're just gonna leave it alone for a little bit and let it dry. And we'll come back and take off the rest of the paper and stuff and uh, get your final thoughts and get some final thoughts. Hey everybody, okay, so it's dried up now for about uh, almost 15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna start taking the tape and things off the side here. I'm pretty excited, <laughs> you know, this looks great. And so I'm gonna start taking off all the, the paper and everything and then uh, we'll go ahead and take the car back outside into the sunlight and get a better look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and it up. Let's get all that tape off. Well, this was all done before the actual uh, video started, but I was very meticulous about my taping process, covering up everything that I did not want to get any overspray on. 
Uh, as you can see underneath here, had a big cardboard thing covering up the engine compartment and then everything around it here as well is completely covered so that way nothing would get sprayed where it wasn't supposed to. I feel like I'm unwrapping a present. Apartment. And bam! Oh man, that looks so good. Matching up perfectly with the plastic front grill that I did over here, as well as the fog light uh, housings right there. Oh man, this looks looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside. I'm gonna hand hold the camera and I'm gonna do a walk around here. And there it is. Wow, I am so freaking stoked. That is amazing. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to swing around here, take a look. Yeah, I am pretty happy with that. That looks really good. So after about uh, three hours or so from start to finish, from initial taping to taking the tape off, about three hours to completion. And yeah, look at that. I mean, look at that. Those lines look pretty good. The edges did come out a little bit sketchy, but nothing really too bad. Let's get up nice and close. So if you can see right there, let me focus it. Got a few little bites in there, but nothing that you wouldn't be able to see, nothing that you would be able to see unless you were up close, you know, really close. I mean, overall though, it looks pretty good. Those spots that I was talking about earlier, right there, there's one right there, a little bit of buildup. Otherwise, though, everything else just came out so nice. Yeah, it came out great. So, looks really good. Those lines came out sharp. And combination with the fog light down there, all done. The chrome is completely gone. And, of course, the front grill. I mean, look at that. That just, that looks pretty awesome right there. All right, well, that's pretty much it, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and share it. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, please subscribe and, or leave them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys did your own. I mean, this looks great. I hope it inspires you guys to do your own. Try some Plasti-Dip on your own. And we'll see you guys next time on Stardew Outdoors.